everybody. Welcome back to another Girlfriends Chit Chat. You know, y'all, I'm excited about tonight's show. It is going to be amazing. I've got a phenomenal woman coming to the platform tonight, and she has got some amazing information that you definitely want to take advantage of tonight. But with no further ado, y'all, we ain't got time to play around tonight, y'all. We got to get down to it. Come on in here, my girlfriend, Leslie Thomas of She Promotes Network. Girl, come on in here, my boss. Woo, What's happening, sister? sister? Hey! Girl, what's going on with you? Girl, it's been a week. Let's let's chat it up. Girl, I'm ready. Don't get me started. It has been a week, girl. It's yeah. Been. But girl, we here tonight to chat it up with our girl. Who you know who we gonna talk to tonight? Girl, Man, I'm excited. Are you excited? Yes. I know. Yes, girl. Taria Vision of Vibe gonna be with us tonight, girl. I'm so excited. Girl, come on in here, Taria. Come on in here, girl. Come on in. What's going on, y'all? How y'all? Can you hear me? Listen, I'm outside right now. I'm outside, hashtag, and it's a lot of noise, but I'm just here. What y'all doing? What's going yeah. on, ladies? Look, I'm excited to see you, girlfriend. Girl, girl look, you're looking <laughs> cute as ever. Look at her, y'all. Look. Y'all, yeah. this is how girlfriends do, girl. We got to come on in here and look our way, girl. Look just like we look. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Look tonight. You don't look at her glowing. Mm, girl, that's what I... You would think isn't I was in love. I don't girl, know. Girl, what's that skincare you use to go? Let me tell you something. Taria is seriously on the move. I can't catch her at all. When I but, see her in one place, she's somewhere else. That's everything. Look, that's what we got to do, y'all. We, we trying to make those moves. We ain't trying to look. We ain't trying to chase it. We trying to go get it. You know what exactly. I'm saying? Exactly. Hey, come on now. Because tonight, Taria's going to tell you a little bit on how you can really maximize your business. Yes. But I want you all to know just a little bit about her because this is not her first time with the girlfriends, you know, no. her second time being with us. But, you know, y'all, I want you all to kind of know a little bit about her and what she's about. Yes. Well, Taria Vaughn is a computer science graduate from, you know where, y'all, Hampton University. Go, go get it. Go get it. Yes, <laughs> ma'am. She is an author of more than 15 books. And at least, you know, y'all, she's got her latest Don't Go Broke trying to be the business, the business owner don't try yes. to go broke y'all don't try to go broke yes Look, come yes. on there y'all she has been featured on abc fox cbs what more y'all in 2009 she founded the show your success where she has helped more than 5,000 plus speakers coaches and network marketers to write books to grow their business she's also founded a non-profit organization called what urban ceo that's her baby y'all that's her baby you know what? And the mission of it is to empower and to educate men and women from the urban community yes. in a non-intimidating way. Girl, you doing it. Shut up. We ain't gonna yes. it. That's enough within itself. It but is. But what I want to dive deep in tonight, y'all. Look, don't put your head down. Stop doing that. You know, come on now. Because you know, y'all, when, when she went it, we went it. And we have yes. to understand we have to elevate and uplift each one of us we have to y'all in this business as being entrepreneurs we have to do that thing but my yeah. thing tonight i want to talk about taria telling us how we can do hey carrie how you doing girl hey girl i want to hey, talk Katie. to you like, taria, about you know how can we develop a book or create a book for our business because a lot of us i'm gonna tell you something i'm gonna be with you i'm one of those ones i felt like i don't need to write a book like for what reason don't do that. Don't do that. I'm serious because that's where my mindset was. You know, I don't need to write a book. What's the purpose? Kind of tell our viewers, why do we need to write a book? What's the purpose in it? Well, absolutely. And first, I just want to apologize to everybody. Hopefully y'all can hear me. I'm we can outside. Hear you. We can hear you, girl. Okay, yes. Okay. There's a lot going on. And I'm here actually in Tennessee. I was invited to come to a conference where I could talk to a lot of truckerpreneurs and show them how to be able to write a book to tell their story and leverage their business. But the reason why I turned my head is because I was the same way. I used to always be like, I don't need to write no book. I want to write a book because I felt like it's not really time. Like in my mind, I was like, I don't need to write a book until like Oprah knows me by first name, like where she could be walking by and be like, Korea! <laughs> That's good, girl. I like that. I love it. I love it. Oprah don't know me. So I'm like, I'm not, I'm not trying to write a book, but what I understood was that I was in a space where I needed people to really see me as an authority figure right, in right. my business. And so I wrote that book for that specific reason. And honestly, that was a blessing because 
when I decided to finally write it, I only wrote it with the intention of being like an influencer in my space. Right. So because I did that, like doors started opening up. Like I never knew what imagine. Like I was just like, whoa, like these networking organizations want me to come speak. Writer cool. organizations want me to come speak. Right. Real estate organizations want me to come speak because I wrote a book about goal setting and you know, right. vision boards and things of that nature. So for anybody that's like, I don't want to write a book because I don't really care about writing about my story. A book is not always just about your story. It's about right. helping to empower people, yes. and showing them how to achieve a specific goal. Yeah. Yeah. And oh, that's good. That's really good. That's really good because I feel like I, I felt like I was like, hey, what do I have to offer? You right. know, because a lot of times you feel like, and I love the post you had made where you said, you know, a lot of times you have to sometimes write a book about your business to motivate and encourage yourself. Right. And that was a nugget. That was a nugget. Because I'm not writing the book for anyone else. I'm writing it for me. Right. To take my business to the next level. And that was just, girl, when I say you really be doing it, you really right. be doing it. Right. Because we don't never think about that. We don't think about that. We always out here trying to write a book to encourage others, motivate others, push others. But sometimes we have to write a book, a book to ignite something within us. Right. And I think that is amazing within itself. I really do. Absolutely. Yeah. Carrie Absolutely. says your book isn't for you. It's for others. That's exactly right, Carrie. Yeah. That's how Absolutely. it is. That's how we should look at it. Yeah. Well, well listen, uh, you know, what I will say is this. The goal is when you write that book, ladies and gentlemen, like you got to really truly understand, like, what's the goal? Like, what's the end in mind? as a result of me writing this book what's going to happen for me so just like how carrie said you don't write the book for yourself you write it for others that's true but you also write it for yourself too so that it can help elevate you to the next level for me i wrote the book because i knew that i wanted to build my my company that i was in at the time right right so i said as a result of me writing this book i'm now getting positioned into more stages i'm now getting positioned on the news i'm now getting in front of more people and i'm enrolling or getting more people to be a part of my business right. so i had a clear understanding of how the book was going to help me but i also knew that as a result of someone reading my book this is what they're going to learn and i believe the biggest mistake that authors make is they never really sit down and plan the purpose of their book they're oh i just want to help people no, no, no listen <laughs> that's too general yeah so like ain't nobody waking up googling help me right. said, help me right. help people, are, people are looking up specific results how do i overcome dot 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 how right. can i get through dot 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 how right. do i learn how to dot 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 and right. that's how you want to position that book see that's good did you exactly. find it hard writing your first book like just being able to sit down and pull those thoughts out and because in my thought process a lot of times I think I, that's what I think about when what am I going to write about like even though you may know I you know I want to specifically help people learn how to goal set right or whatever the case mm -hmm. may be was it still hard pulling those thoughts together to do that hey Miss Doris again th listen that was the biggest blessing for me because when mm -hmm. I wrote the well let me tell you why I wrote the book okay I don't know if I shared this before last time we chit chatted um, but in the, at the time when I wrote my first book, I was in network marketing and I was a top income earner in the industry. OK. And um, at that point, I was like, OK, I'm making this money. Let me start talking to people like of different levels of influence. I'm going to hit up doctors and lawyers and stuff right. like that. Now, unbeknownst to me, darling, I didn't know that these people did not see me as being a real entrepreneur. Right. Right. So I sat down with this lawyer and he was like, long story short. When I told him what I did, he was just like, ooh, I, mm, 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 that's not what I'm, you know, I ain't trying to be there. So I was like, oh, okay, he don't respect me. <laughs> right, right. That's what I said. Right, so right. he doesn't respect me. So I said, okay, I'm going to write a book where people will respect me. So when I made a decision to write that book, y'all, I promise you, I did it in 30 days. It oh, was wow. difficult because I understood what is the new thing these little kids saying? She understood the what? The assignment? Yes, yeah, I knew the assignment. Yeah. <laughs> Come on now, you knew the assignment. <laughs> you knew the assignment. <laughs> Got it. I understood yes. the assignment. So it's when you understand the end in mind, 
Like, right. okay, when I write this book, this is what I want people to know, specifically steps and things of that nature. And I know how I want it to help me. It, I honestly, y'all, it's not hard to get done. But right. you got to know the end results. You got to know the end game. Right. The one thing um, I've had, we I've seen, you know, a conversation that happened uh, with this awesome op- entrepreneur a few weeks ago, and they were talking about building multiple businesses. And she was like, you know what? I don't think it's necessary to build alt- multiple businesses because you can birth so many different projects within the one umbrella. What's your thought process about the process about that? Because I say that, y'all, because I have seen so many people come from the Taria uh, Avant Nation, because that's what I'm calling it now. It's the Taria Avant Nation. I am seeing <laughs> all her little <laughs> children just popping out because all of these people come from your vision. What do you think about people who are saying, oh, I got to get four or five different bu- businesses? What do you say to that? Now, you know what I'm going to say. I know, but this is for the audience. <laughs> Look, listen, just like four and five jobs or two and three jobs right. are for two and three people. Right. Two and three businesses are for two and three people. The challenge that we have with our community, though, is that we've been taught that, like, the person who has multiple jobs is the one who deserves all the credit. Right. Now, what's crazy is the credit doesn't mean the money. Right. Because I never met a person that worked two and three jobs right. that was financially free. They were actually more so addicted this. to the work. Thank they you. were chained to the work, chained yes. to the money. Yes. I've never met a wealthy person that tells me, oh, I built my wealth off of initially building three and four businesses. Right. And so the challenge that we have within our community is, first of all, stop being addicted to our labor. Yeah. We have an yeah. addiction to our labor. We want to work all these different businesses. Well, Tari, I'm good at this, and I'm passionate about that. And I'm pa- I told a young lady the other day on the call, I said, listen, I'm passionate about movies, but I don't make that a business. Right. I'm passionate about eating. I love seafood, but right. I don't make that a business. Now, are there people who make a decision to say, well, I love seafood. I'm going to make this a business. Yes. Yes. But I decided that I was passionate about books, and I made right. that a business. Yes. Now, with the books, I've been able to turn that into multiple streams of income. Yeah. So a lot of times right. we hear people talk about building multiple streams. You know, the funny thing is that I don't ever hear wealthy people telling people, y'all got to have seven streams of income. Like wealthy people don't talk about that. It's always people that's like, you know, millionaires, they have at least seven streams of income. But, well, listen, yes, they do, but they're passive streams. Yes. See, when yes. you think of Mark Zuckerberg, what do we think of? Facebook. Facebook. When we think yes. of Oprah Winfrey, what do we think of? Broadcast. Broadcast. Yeah. When we think of Donald Trump, no matter what you want to say about that man, we think of real estate. Right. We don't think about all the other passive streams of incomes right. that they make because they said, you know what? I got money. Everybody right. say, I got money in the chat. I got money. Right. I'm going to throw down $100,000 and yes. don't do nothing with it. Like, I right. don't have to work for that 100000 I'm going to put right. down a million dollars. I'm not going to do nothing for that. And so the key is, y'all, find one business, build it to a seven-figure business, like for real, and yeah. learn how to turn that into multiple streams. I sell T-shirts with my books. Right. I sell planners with my books. I right. have different programs right. all connected to writing books. Right. That's amazing. Because that's how it should be. I, I really believe that's how it should be Thank every you. time. The streams of income, that's how it should be, y'all. But but my thing is, what are you doing to get a person to that place of understanding that you really can write a book in 30 days? Where do you get to that mindset? Because I'm going to tell you right now, girl, I can't write no book in no 30 days. Yes, you can. Girl, I can't do that. Well, ta- well child, boo, my, my book camp is actually now three days. We got people writing books in three days. In fact, we promise you that your book will be done in three days and we'll give you your money back. And since I've been doing it, ain't nobody got their money back. Wait a minute. You say Hold three on. days. That's what I want her to repeat that again. She's like, <laughs> wait a minute, Taria. Look. You see me? I had to spin around. Yes, yeah, three days. Look, 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 she had to do, she had to go all the way around, y'all. Three days. Three days. I was three with days. the party. Three days, hey, Taria. I can write a book in three days. Are y'all believers? I, I'm a believer. I'm going to put my hand up. 
I'm in Taria Avon vision. I'm in the nation. Seven days. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. Seven days. She says seven days. She can make it happen. The world. No, no, no. I, I asked the world was her. made in seven days. Yeah, the seven world was made in seven days. I don't think y'all can no. sit down for a couple it was hours made in and get six. focused and write a book in three. Yeah. So no, we have a system yeah. though, because really honestly, y'all, when you think about it. The reason why you have the book is to open doors. We're not trying to write some kind of 400, 500 page book. We write yes, this based right. on material that we already know. Right. The specific steps. So the biggest mistakes that authors make is they write a book, first of all, trying to sell the book when you should write a book to leverage the book, right? But then the next step is write about something you know. Right. And the crazy thing is literally, like right now as we're doing this video, there are people who are Googling how to overcome something that you know how to do. Exactly. And you might, like I was on the phone with a young lady today, well, no, it was yesterday. And she was telling me that she has a home garden and she's been gardening for three years. So guess wow. what we did? We went to Google and I said, how to start a home garden. Do you know how many results we found? Literally how many people are Googling how to start a home garden? And that could be a whole business. And so we overthink this process. We think our wow. book needs to be so deep. And we think our book has to be everything in it. You write a book to write another book. John C. Maxwell, he's the king of leadership. Yes, he is. He and is. you would think after the 21 irrefutable laws of leadership, he don't need to write another book. Y'all, you know how many times he rewrote that book? Go look up how many books he has on leadership. I have and three he, of them. You, he, He's awesome. Yeah. Awesome. So I yeah, know, so you can write it in three days because you're not trying to put your entire life into it. Right. You're putting a specific result that you know how to achieve and you're teaching on that. And it makes it so much easier. Wow. Wow. Desi, that sounds mm -hmm. so much easier. What you say, Shauna? Three days. Three days. Okay. She say three days, y'all. She if say if three days. If we did it in I, seven, I, we can at least believe for three. Come on, y'all. Come on. And shoot, and truth be told, he did it in six. The seventh day was rest. Yeah, he rested on the seventh day <laughs> and did a whole world, though. Like, he did a world. <laughs> we can do a book. We can do a book in three. We can do a book in three days. I mean, so too, I mean like, actually, if you got the right, the right, I'm going to say it like this, guardianship. Yeah. Absolutely. You, you, you can, we can get it done. Right. That's right. Yeah, we can get it done. I mean, I think it, and anything is possible if you set your mind to do it. If you make up in your mind, that this is where I want to be. This is the book I want to write. And then partner with you and be able to see that thing come full circle. Like Teresa, say, I am not a publishing company. She killed that thing. Every time I hear you say that. It. Child, it'd be like, yeah, my publisher, sweetie, you are self-published. Don't do it. I'm not your publisher. I'm a coach. And I don't just help you write a book. I help you to profit from a book. Like, yeah. Don't disrespect me. I want y'all yeah. to get that because people think that though. I have had people think that you were a publisher. I no, did literally. I'm and I'm like, she's not. So I want y'all to know she is a coach to help you leverage your book. Okay, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Now, now, now we get that down. Key, right. If you ain't got the right book, we're going to help you get it right. Right. <laughs> but then we also teach you how to use that book to promote profit, perform all the things that authors are not knowing how to do. And right. ultimately, the goal is that you use that book for an end product or service. And it doesn't mean only coaching. It could be, a, you know, like clothes. It could be massages. It could be anything. But if you learn how to leverage that book, you can build those multiple streams. Right. Awesome. That, that everything. Is. Everything. I mean, you know, you can make that thing sound so easy tonight. I mean, really. Well, child, it is. Because it is. It because is. It is. <laughs> <laughs> The one thing that I love about just your brand, just to you know, keep it serious for just a second. The one thing I love, I, of course, signed on to get every newsletter on the planet. There is not a moment of my day that I don't see your what? name. But but the thing is, what I love about that, it really speaks to your tenacity. It really speaks to your drive. And it inspires me because there are days I'm like, OK, I don't feel like doing it. And lo and behold, I go into my email. There's something there from you. Oh, yeah. And, yes. And, and and it's me saying the days that I feel like I want to slow down and I'm like, you know what? I'm just not in it. 
I love, and I, this is off topic from the book, but you know, there's a lot of us that frequently go to your page because you know, you'll pop up, you'll do a live. And I love your transparency, honestly, that has, has inspired me. And I won't go into your specific live that you did a couple of weeks ago, but it was so heartfelt because it really spoke to what a lot of us women who are business owners, who are just trying to do life, who are just out there, just really just trying to make it. But you make it seem so easy because I love that because some of us feel like we have to be superwoman. And I can tell you the day that I saw your post, it touched me in such a way. I can't even, I, because I'm gonna go to tears if I do. Uh. <laughs> but it does. No, I, I love women who you inspire see, but you. You inspire you, yeah. No, when other women make me want to take my game up, that does it. When I go into an email and I got an email from you, I'm like, okay, I can do it. When I go in and I see a live that pops up that's really just saying, I ain't talking about books today. I'm just really talking about how you need to suck it up, get it together and keep moving. Even despite what we may be feeling personally, you've been so transparent. What is your advice to the woman that watches your live that feels like, hey, you know, today just ain't my day. I'm giving up. What do you say to her? Because I know what it speaks to me, but what do you say to that woman that's like, I, I'm just tired of doing life. I don't know what else to do. Tell us about that because you recently made a move, which is awesome, but you spoke so much and there was so much that was attached to that. It had so many legs. Tell us a little bit about those transitions and what a woman that's giving up can do. Well, well, first of all, and I say this all the time and it, it, it really stuck on me. I was at church and Joel Osteen, he said, the rain falls on the just and the unjust. Yes. And in my mind, that meant that no matter how good we are, no matter how many times we pray, no matter how many times we do good for other people, we're still going to have rain. Yeah. And it's going to fall on us. Yeah. And so with that stated, it gives me the confidence to know that when the rain falls, it will also end. Yeah. And so I love to be transparent because there's so many coaches out here, you know, this new, these little kids, they be saying cap and stuff. Yeah. So many, everybody cap. Yeah. Everybody act like their life is perfect. And I feel like in a space of where I'm building influence, yes. it's such yeah. a disservice to act like everything is perfect. Because exactly. I don't care how much I'm around multimillionaires, right. you got the biggest drama. Right. right, right. And so life is not going to be perfect. It never is. It's right. never going to be the perfect time to do something to change your life. Right. And so I like to be transparent because I know the calling that God has on my life. Yeah. Well, many people think that my purpose is writing books. That's not a purpose. That's a vehicle. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Right. My purpose is so bigger than that. But I know that in order for people to have a listening ear, sometimes I have to be willing to show you guys a way to get those results. Right. And so with that, yes, I use the books, but I also know the purpose here is to teach you guys balance or yeah. to teach, you know, women, especially that, listen, we might have some hiccups along the way. We might yeah. have some setbacks along the way, but it is in those setbacks that set us up to be able to be the woman that we are today. And nobody's inspired by a story that never had a setback. Like who you ever heard somebody that said, well, my life was easy. Right. So when I look at the challenges that I have, and even when like transitioning from Houston to Atlanta, while some people might be like, well, dang, you just, I thought you were staying in Houston forever. No, it's just, it was just, you know, it was a short period of time. And right. I talk about that, but now it gives somebody else the opportunity to say, okay, all right, let me make a move. Exactly. And even right. if it touches just one, I'm not, I don't need to touch a million. Right. If I touch one, I know that I've done my purpose. Damn. Well, you got one right here, honey. And I can only imagine that there are many behind us. It really, there's a lot of women that are really just struggling with the next move. Should I stop? Should I go? And your lives do it for me. I ain't gonna lie, girl. Them emails. I'm like, okay, I can do yeah. it one more day. So I just want you to know that if you didn't know that you were touching lives, you absolutely are. I mean, in a very big way. And I mean that so sincerely because I had a moment one day and I happened to pop onto your live and there you were. I was like, okay, God, thank you. Confirmation. So we don't even understand the light that we bring to a table, but I just wanted to make sure to tell you that. I know we laugh, we joke, but it's, 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 it touched my heart, sis. So know that you definitely are affecting lives out here. Well, I appreciate you for sharing. Yeah. You sharing that helps me to be even more confident. Cause let me tell you something, being vulnerable is not always, 
you know, sometimes you'd be like, Ooh, I wonder, did I do too much? But yeah. now God, you told me to do it. So I'm, I'm going to stick with it, but I appreciate you for telling me that. Yeah. Yeah. It touched me more than, you know, I'm going to go to crying. I, I ain't going to say that. Oh, look at you. You've been to make me cry. Oh, I'm, y'all don't know. She, 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 and she touched me. I, no, I can't even. Not, but that's how it is. Now we get to that place of understanding and, and we're impacting a life. Let's go there. Uh, because at the end of the day, Taria is being of service, y'all. That's the number yeah. one goal is we're here to be of service. How many more times are we going to have to say this to somebody, Giddy? It ain't you about the job. It's about being up. They, Look, we're going to beat it and beat it and beat it and beat it. I love the fact now you got your 7 a.m. prayer call. Let's go there. Girl. See? See, that's, what, that's where the service comes into play, you. y'all. Let me tell you something. That's how God is transforming her. And people don't even see that. She's going to new levels and new heights. And the only way she can get there is by God directing and guiding her. And I'm going to tell y'all something. If you are not connected to her, if you have not partnered with her, you're missing out. Yes. I'm going to tell you now because that's the impact you want. Every business owner always says, you know, I'm trying to transfer lives. I'm trying to make a difference. But like she said, y'all, if you're impacting just one. Yeah. Somebody emails you and say, Tria, I love you. I thank you for everything you're doing in my life. I yeah. love you for what you're doing. You're really doing so much in the community. You're making a difference. That's right. all she wants. Right. And people don't know that. You just want that one person to say, dog, I'm making a difference. I'm right. changing lives. And I think that is the most. Um, and that's why I tell you, Tria, I continue to follow you. I'm watching you all the time. She right. I get the emails too, Leslie. I get <laughs> It's funny today here in Tennessee, somebody came up to me and was like, look, I just want to show you. I get your text messages. <laughs> but y'all don't forget about but, me. That's what but y'all, saying. y'all not gonna say you don't hear from her. No. You're not gonna say that about her. Okay. I'm not gonna let you say that about her. Not, not at <laughs> all. I'm waiting for her. One day I went looking. I was like, wait, did I not get nothing today, girl? I was in the phone. I was like, why are you saying that? I've had people message me, be like, Tabria, it's been a couple days. You ain't sent us a message. You okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm just chilling. Y'all good. I'm just Girl, good. You go, if you go ghost one day, I'm tripping. I'm like, wait a minute, hold on. That ghost. I'm searching Facebook. I'm hunting you down like a stalker. I'm on Facebook. Whoa. I'm gonna check you out on Instagram. I'm like, wait, is she in TED Talk today? I mean, I'm everywhere. I'm looking for you everywhere. But that because I'm like, I need somebody to pour in, sis, pour in, and I can get it. I can get a good old dose over there with you, sis. But I'm going to tell y'all something. The best place, like Terrell said, every one of her lives, she'll sit, she'll preach it, y'all. Yeah. Y'all get y'all nuggets from her YouTube. Do you not know how many times I have been on her YouTube? How many nuggets you get? Do not come to Terrell unless you don't been to YouTube first. <laughs> Go there first. <laughs> y'all, see, I'm telling you, this is when you have followed her. You really digested what she's feeding you. And you're utilizing it, y'all, because that's yes. what that's free. It's you free. Know, and she's providing different areas for you to connect with her. And if you're ready to take it to the next level, you just need to, you know, send that email. Because come tomorrow. What you doing tomorrow, Taria? Tell them. Tell them well, what tomorrow, you're doing tomorrow. Girl. Tomorrow we have our one-day event. We do it once a month. It's our Book Profits Mastermind. But listen, I got a young lady that works for LinkedIn. Okay? Works for it. Not plays with. She works for LinkedIn. She's going to be on tomorrow teaching you guys how to take your LinkedIn to the next level. So every single event once a month, I always bring on a different bonus training and like the level is going to the next level. But we're going to be talking to you guys about books. We're going to talk to you about why books don't sell. We're going to talk to you guys about how to write the right book as well as developing your $10,000 book in 90 days, the game plan. Okay. So it's a free event. I mean, you can upgrade to VIP, but like I offer so much free game. Mm. I don't never want to hear nobody try to say I ain't trying to help my community because that's exactly. all I do. That's all exactly. I do. Exactly. Y'all, look, y'all, did you hear that? She I'm said, a recipient. Y'all, I'm going to tell y'all something. That's what I love about Tariq, y'all. Free, free. The sister is really like, if you want to upgrade the VIP, do it. But y'all, you have really got to maximize and take advantage of everything she's bringing to the table, y'all. Yeah. Connect with her, y'all. I mean, she's always putting on events programs, pop-ups. Y'all, you better get into Texas, y'all. This is to be doing the pop-ups. 
You know, she back in Atlanta, y'all, drive to drive, y'all. You know, I even sent a message saying, why you don't come to Charlotte? She said, why don't you drive to Atlanta? <laughs> I sure will. I said, you better pull up where I'm at, honey. Okay. Pull up. It's worth it. Come hang out. You know, I'm gonna have a listen. I'm a key key anyway, so you know, you gotta have a good time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. See, that's what I'm talking about, y'all, is that we have to really partner with. So, Terrell, let everybody know how they can get in contact with you for going in the future if they want to go ahead and leverage their book, but also for the event tomorrow. So, how can we connect with you? All you need to do, I only ever give one domain 10kbook dot com that's one zero k for thousand book.com so 10k book.com that'll get you access to my free master class and then you'll get the details for the one day event scheduling the call everything my social media everything you could need is going to be on 10k book.com look at that y'all yeah i need y'all to do this i need y'all to do this tomorrow what time is it tomorrow taria what time is the event tomorrow we start at 1 p.m so that's what time 1 p.m Central women, it's 1 p.m. Central. Yeah, okay. y'all know these new time zones got me confused. Child, look, 1 PM central is what time we start. So, what if you go to actually, if you go to, yeah, just go to 10kbook.com, it's 1 p.m. Central. Dang it, I'm off on the time. That's just all go right. to 10kbook.com. One I'm central, gonna, look, one central, two eastern, y'all. There yeah, you go. I look, think that's look. what it is, but I feel like it might be 11 a.m. Twitch. You think so? So I might be off. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll okay. check that's this out. Right. But I want everybody to really get out there, partner with her, take advantage and be a part of the event on tomorrow. I know I'm going to try to uh, tag in and get in. Hey, Tanya, girl, look at your girl. What's going on, Miss Blackwood? I would love for you all to definitely partner with her. Let me tell y'all something. Taria is amazing, y'all. When I say this, I'm not going to scream it from the rooftops. Yeah. For not a woman doing some amazing things. Uh, also, Taria, how can people take advantage and be able to be a part of your prayer call you have at 7 a.m. in the yeah. morning? How can they do that? Thank you, Thank you for asking. It's release and restore mornings, plural.com. If you go to release and restore mornings, we're meeting every Monday through Friday at 7 a.m. Central, 8 a.m. Eastern. And it's an opportunity. Honestly, I created this group because I was sharing with a girlfriend of mine about something I was going through. And you know, in our community, sometimes it's not that, hopefully y'all can still hear me. Yeah, it's not that when I was sharing with her that I think that she was trying to like play what I was going through. Right. Just, we're so used to trying to level it up. Yes. And so yeah. I feel like a lot of times we don't have a place where we can just release and be, and be like be grounded in the word of God. Right. Because sometimes when we need to release, if we're grounded in the word of God, he will actually give us the answers that we need. Right. And so this is a place where you can safely release what you're going through. Nobody's going to give you advice. Yes. All we're going to do is say, thank you for sharing or and or I can relate. And so we yes. do this every Monday through Friday. It's a big movement, y'all. I promise you. God told me to do it back in May and I ignored it. Mm. And stuff happened and I felt horrible. And I was like, okay, we're not going to play. And now... We have individuals that are joining us. We have team leaders. It's just amazing. God is good. That's God, awesome. Really good. That's amazing. That's we're awesome. Women lives again. Yep. And I want y'all to understand that, that that's where we need to be at. I want y'all to be of service. I want y'all to support one another and, and partner y'all. I mean, we got to do this together, y'all. And this is where we're going. And so I just want to thank everybody. You know, as always, you know, y'all, I love it when she came with us tonight to be with us. We thank you, love. I appreciate it so much, Drew. You are amazing. We I'm going to keep you. Thank, you. Well, guys, thank you. you so much. Listen, I promise you, I would have been in the, in the studio and everything, but this big trucking expo, it's like this is a big thing for our community. It's growing big. Love, and you excited, doing your, and you're a, doing your work. I'm you the only person in here talking about books. We about to put a foot up on their deck. You hear what I'm saying? Okay, anyway, <laughs> let me get humble. Lord Jesus, forgive me for being extra. Humble me, Lord. Humble me, Lord. You I love you guys. I love you. Look, you're every day, all day, but you all, I thank you all. It was uh, awesome. You know, so much. I thank you, Taria, for being with us this evening. You know, we're going to have you back again, girl. I yes. You. I love you. Please. I love Make it about Look, you say please. <laughs> Please, 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 please. please. <laughs>
Thank you all. We thank you. We, we're glad everybody was able to take part in Miss Sister Girl tonight. But Tariq, we thank you for being with us this evening. Love you, boo. You thank have you, a great evening. Truck it, truck on, girl. Truck on. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, you know I do love me some Taria, y'all. Me too. She's, she's so energy. much energy. Oh my God. Yo, energy. I, I love mean, energy, man. Y'all, the movement. She's doing a movement. You know what I'm saying, y'all? You see what happens when you're disobedient. You know, when God tells you to do things and we don't listen and right. we do what we want to do. Right. And we kept riding her and riding her. See, you're going to still have to do it. People have to understand that, that you got to be obedient. Because I don't want to suffer any repercussion or consequences behind me trying to do what I want to do. Exactly. Exactly. You know? Exactly. Not that more times than often, you know. A lot of times we uh we here's another thing I, I thought about just now. It's gonna get done whether you do it or not. That's right. So you might as That's well right. be obedient and get it done. I y'all know I know all about disobedience. Look. Don't get it started. Look. Well, no, I'd much it. rather him if he if trust me, if he had enough faith in me to get it done, I don't want him to have nobody else do it but me. I mean, yeah, girl, that's what we're here for, y'all. We're you here know to, what I'm saying? to do his work, you know, and, and people don't realize in business that's that's a ministry. Oh, it is. I mean, it, what she's doing is 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 absolutely is. a ministry. It because is. at the end of the day, I think we, like she said, do other persons new new business owners entrepreneurs a disservice yeah. when we only show them the glorified portions of our business the cars the money oh. the life, all of that but not allow them to see a level of of transparency i don't think everything's probably meant to be out but being able to say i'm vulnerable yeah. this is what i'm feeling because when we do that it's, it's almost like I, I would tell people you know, when a person goes to church and a person gets saved, they've come from out of the street and they finally saved at that point. All of a sudden, what happens is when we don't cultivate the, the new believer, right? The, the new believer starts to feel like now that I'm 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 in church, I'm in the Lord, that my life is supposed to be peachy keen. And then all of a sudden life hits and they do what they do. They revert back to where they came from. So I think we have to be, you. we have to handhold to some degree. We have to love on new business owners and yeah. say, hey, you know, we have life, things happen, you know, all of those things. And I love that because I, I say business, but it really is a ministry because she she has put out the most vulnerable sides of herself. And it allowed me to keep going some days, real talk, because I'm like, oh, Lord, you know, I'm having a day. You know what I'm saying? But I think we have to do that with business owners. We have to let them know we have a life and things happen too. I think it's all a ministry anyways, right? It is. Um, like at the very end of the day, I believe that our our gifts and talents, all of that good jazz is twofold, you know, it's to mm -hmm. further the kingdom if you're a believer. And then it's also to, and when I say further the kingdom, I mean monetarily. Yeah. Um, but then it's also to fulfill the great commission, which is to win souls. So at the end of the day, it, we have to begin to understand um, the ministry of a thing. Like Sarah was saying last week, her, her business truly is a ministry, right? Mm -hmm. it, it is. It really works with you from the inside out. And I think that when we take hold of saying, you know, how can I really serve you? Because life truly is about service, right? I right. think that we, sometimes we miss that part. Yeah. And we get caught up in, 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 the, in the coins, right? In the coins. Yeah, we do. But we yeah. missed the part of was I could I have even led someone to Christ today, right? Yeah. Or could I have prayed with someone today, right? Mm -hmm. Could I have found out what they needed regarding, you know, maybe their family needs prayer or right. maybe they're hungry. Like um, I was I was erasing my whiteboard and the other weekend. I, I was saying to myself, I'm just going to put some affirmations up here to speak on one side of the whiteboard every morning I get get up. And then we had came home and this was all happening in the same day. And y'all know my baby, she's amazing. And she walked in the room and she said, mommy, we're going to list prayers on this side of the board. And that way we can pray for people and pray for things and, you know, just different. So the first prayer she put up was um, for the poor that they 
have food and that they have clothes and that they um that they have jobs and monies at home you know but sometimes we don't realize how far that goes and then another thing is that we just have to make sure that we're being the example we're supposed to be right like not half stepping oh Oh yes, yes the service that matters. More yeah. servant leaders are needed. Absolutely. Exactly. Oh my God, Tanya, oh, I wow. love that. Oh, Tanya. Yeah. yeah. Because we're exactly. leaders, we're supposed, you know, you you set the example. We set you set the tone almost mm -hmm. like you know. People want to say, I hate to say this, it's kind of mean. People want to say, oh, I want to be like Shauna. No, you don't want to be like Shauna. You like the things Absolutely that Shauna not. does, but it's like you need to. You have to find your own space and what makes right. things. For you and what where do you play that leadership role right and then, a lot of that is just taking a look in the mirror and doing some mirror work right and saying oh yeah that you have for me and I, i'm only telling y'all what i've done what i've had to do but a lot of that is, is, is exactly what that is i mean people might say they want to be like sean and it's cool i get it you know because i'm cool <laughs> right i'm it's super like, nah. no, but you know, that's, how we do, that's how we walk around every day we we have people that we want to we like what they're doing. You know, it's right. not that I want to be like you. I just love your drive. Right. You know, the mission you have. And you just don't know the journey it took that person to get there. They just didn't get out of bed this morning and say, I am just going to do this thing. Right. You know, right. I got the strength, well, uh, the know how. Hey, I'm waking up with it. Hey, girl, let's do this thing. Right. You know, we don't wake up like that. No. It may be a hard day. I could be battling something, you know. I could be working through something. I could come on this camera right now. And you think I'm happy and cheerful, and you don't know what I went through early today. Right, right. You see what I'm saying? But you know what? I think we have a responsibility as well as business owners, just girlfriends, just people yeah. in general. I think we have a responsibility that we should... Uh, I always say I don't want to cause anybody to miss Christ because of my attitude. I don't want anybody to, I don't want to cause them to miss that relationship because I was so nasty. You know, you know, that's why we say customer service is everything. It's not just a call center. That's me calling you saying, Hey girl, I got a question. Can you help answer it? Well, when you pay my invoice, you know, sometimes it ain't you got to pay my invoice. Sometimes I might need a quick call, a conversation to help me keep going. And I had to check myself one day. I heard another lady say it on another broadcast. She said, have I said anything or done anything to call someone to miss Christ today? Because my attitude was so nasty. I was oh, unappropriate. Wow. I'm so rich. You know wow. what I mean? Because if I call you and it's like, no. Uh, well, you can pay my invoice. You can do this. And I see that so often on Facebook. And I'm like, maybe we have an up and coming business owner, someone new, just kind of bur bursting out. And, and again, what we do is ministry. If every time they speak to me is they got to pay an invoice. Again, have I called someone to miss the benevolence? of the blessing that God have given me? I had to start somewhere. You know That's what I mean? But that's the same. I'm going to tell you something how good that is right there, what you said, it because it brought back something because I have been, I've been hearing this over and God's been giving me this over and over again. It's like, I went to the bank and I, you know, God said, are you making a deposit or a withdrawal? Yeah. I said, but I'm making a deposit. You know, I'm not withdrawing. I'm making a deposit. He said, sometimes your season is deposit only. Yeah. It's yeah. not always to withdraw. Yeah. That's yeah. true. You're right, Tanya. People Absolutely. don't realize that. They, they got the mindset of, okay, what do you mean deposit? Giving unto, supporting, words right. of encouragement. Everything he says does not have to be tangible. Get right. that out of your mindset. Right. True. Everything right. you want to link money to everything, and you can't do that. Right. Cause sometimes it's not meant for you to receive all the time. Right. Sometimes you gotta give, and but sometimes we say, "But God, we're always forever giving and pouring and pouring and giving unto people all the time." But when I'm gonna get mine, God? You know, when I'm gonna get mine? <laughs> See, we got that. I gotta get mine mentality. But right. every deposit does not require a withdrawal. Yeah, not. A, and you sometimes have to him re repaying it. You're right. You have to understand it, and I mean, I want to be more. I want to deposit more. I yeah. want to be in a deposit place because right. I believe that when God does bestow and I start reaping my harvest, I'm not even going to see it because right. he's going to start giving it to me. Blessings are going to start flowing. And I'm like, where does this come from? Where does this come right. from? He said, because right. you didn't get caught up in the return. Right. 
Right. You didn't get caught up in that. You got caught up in the deposit. I need your mindset to be on the deposit. And that's right. what Taria is doing. And she's depositing into people's lives. Exactly. She's going to transform exactly. people's lives. And that's what we have to get to, y'all. We've got to get yeah. to that mindset of we want to deposit. We right. want to be of service. And that's what servicing is. I, I love servicing. Right. I think it's the most, it, it blesses me every day. Right. I don't care if I make a dime. I just want to be of service. I said, yes. absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Um, what you do in business is about li transforming lives anyways. If you ain't impacting nobody, what's the point, right? If, right. You're not, if people can't walk away from you, like I always tell people by, like about we meet, we eat. I want people to walk away saying, I got just what I needed from the Lord today, right? But right. I use that because that's how I want them to feel when they walk away. They got everything that they needed. That something... Um, Somebody not happy. <laughs> Y'all can hear her? Yes. <laughs> All the way in the back room. But that, you know, that, that it 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 made a difference in their life, right? Like um, Tanya was talking about attitude. I remember when kids my days always say, attitude determines altitude. Your yeah. attitude can determine how far you go or not, right? Right. So just being, just being that, just being that, um, uh, when okay, you have so balance, you can deposit more. If you don't say that with your chest, Tanya. Say it. Say, say it again, Tanya. Say and it again. A lot of times that's what we're missing, and when, especially when it comes to how we're building right. um, in our relationships. If we don't start with us first and start setting our own boundaries for ourselves, right. we start dealing with other people, it's going to look it's gonna look a lot messy. Not a, not a little bit messy. It's going to look a right. lot messy. So exactly. I, I love that she just said that. Tanya coming with them that that good love tonight. She bringing out that whole. Up. But that we, we have to, but you gotta set those boundaries. Boundaries. I mean, that's a given, y'all. We gotta have boundaries. It's I a mean. given, but people don't always have it. People no, don't no. always do it. Mm -mm. No, they don't. Nine no, times but, out of ten, nine out of ten people. I ain't gonna say nine out of ten. I'm gonna say seven. Mm -hmm. Seven out of ten people do not have boundaries. That's right. true. But you have to set it. What I told y'all, my mama said, you better set you some boundaries because uh, look, because takers don't have none. Ooh. Takers don't have what Miss Gore said, tell her to put it in the put it in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> my mama said, my that my that's my mama's. I swear, you know, when she going to the Lord, and if I go for I'm gonna put it on a casket. Let me tell you, she tells me that all the time. <laughs> I said, when she go, Lord, I pray she's gonna be a minute. But I'm telling you. My mother has always said that. She said, if you don't set boundaries, takers, takers do not have boundaries. So if we don't set it, they're going to keep drinking as long as we keep They're going to bleed you dry. They're going to bleed you dry. You're going to wonder why. Gonna you take what they, that's why she said, you better set them boundaries. When she starts saying, I'm like, okay, I get it. I get it. But, you know, it's amazing. I just want, you know, one thing I can say, you know, Taria, she is so benevolent when it comes to her services. You know, there's tons out there, guys, that she does offer for free. Um, and I would behoove you to take advantage of that um, because you can't say, you know, I know a lot of things cost money um, to budding entrepreneurs who don't have a lot of startup costs to work with. This woman has awesome products that are offered for free. You go to her website and she will, you know, you'll be able to get a wealth of information and knowledge and be able to take advantage of some of those products. So definitely. But I just need people to understand one thing. Sometimes we get free, free kind of twisted up. And yeah. Y'all tell me if I'm right or wrong. A lot of times we will we'll pay for something and then take and take full advantage of it. Most right. of the time we say. But free, you take advantage, you don't really utilize it till it's full right. capacity. Right. You know, I say, oh, this this event is free. Oh, this is free. A lot of people don't partake in it, and they choose to say, oh, but I, if I got to pay for it, I'm gonna do it. And you don't realize that a lot of times, Tari will say to you, and she said this on the last time we had her on. She said, if you ain't been to YouTube and seen a lot of the free stuff, because some of the stuff you asking me, I offer for free already. Right. And people right. don't know that, and that's why she's forever online. She's always talking it up. You know, and we've got to be out there. You are on people's pages and being able to connect with them. Get right. to know what they're offering because a lot of times they're just, they're trying to help you leverage your business. Yes. That's all they're yes. trying to do. And if you really need her services, then you're going to pay for what you're going to get because you're going to get awesome with her. You're going to pay for it and it's going to be phenomenal. But at the same time, y'all, 
she's trying to leverage your books. Exactly. She's trying to get your books and next level. And I really truly believe y'all, we're gonna write that book in three days. Yeah. Yes. I'm ready. We're gonna write that book it. in three days. I don't care yeah. if you're doing it just to just to motivate yourself. Write the book. Hey, we can do girlfriends chit chat and chit chat in the book. We can have a whole <laughs> anthology. See how the Lord <laughs> dropped that. <laughs> Drama, messiness, relationships, taking hey. us. <laughs> I'm just telling you. Look, we, we have can do a whole out, girlfriend's All the issues hey. and problems we go through. And like she said, if we would be more transparent about who we are as individuals, people are so right. much more receptive to that, y'all. People yeah, don't want to meet your representative. What you say, Sean? People don't want to reach meet your, meet your representative. It's for the oh. bird. Like, yeah. I don't want to yeah. deal with... It's some people out here who like fake, but I ain't never been able to do fake and phony. So, like, I want to meet the real you. I want to get to know the real yeah. you. Yeah. Let's, let's do that I thing, a relationship with you, if I rock with you, I rock with you. So, yeah. let me, you, 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 you know, you the real person. Yeah. I don't yeah. Represent what we got to do, y'all. We got to really represent and be, and actually, y'all, just do what we need, what we've been called to do. Yeah. Do what you've been, your purpose. Thank you, Tanya. Give me that necklace, you. honey. Look. Oh, yeah, take us. You better know it. Look, let the mama dropping them nuggets. Look. Love that mama. Love that mama. That's how we got to do, y'all. But like always, you know, y'all, I want y'all to be able to be phenomenal entrepreneurs, but also be phenomenal women and men. Yeah. Be yeah. phenomenal. Be true to you. At the yeah. end of the day, if it ain't for you, find a way to make it happen. You know, Pivot, change. You know, sometimes yeah. we doing things that we weren't, that's not what we meant to do. I'm doing it just to make money, but are you happy? Right. You know, we always have to ask those questions every single day as business owners. Right. Are you happy doing what you're doing, sister? Or bro, are you happy? You know, and that's what we got to do every time, y'all. I don't care how many months go by. You need to be doing a check of your business every month, checking in with yourself, reevaluating your business every single month, mm -hmm. trying yeah. to figure out where you need to place yourself. So you can get yourself more out there, you know? So I would, I want everybody to know, you know, every time we bring a phenomenal entrepreneur or individual to this platform, it is somebody. Oh, thank you, Tanya. Love you, Tanya. You are always understand. Love you. Y'all, Tanya, amazing. That amazing sister, y'all. She amazing. But I want y'all to us in our own right. Yes. So yes. definitely, y'all, I want you to know we appreciate you. We're glad you came in and chatted up with us again on a Friday night. Yeah, and we'll be back again, y'all. Next week, you know, y'all hate good things always got to come to a bittersweet end. Oh, no, but y'all will be here again next Friday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Y'all always check in with us again on Mondays at 9 p.m. on Hindsight Media Radio Station 103.5, as well as Pandora and iHeartRadio. And soon, y'all, you'll be able to catch us on Believe in Your Dreams Network. Yes, indeedy, Dr. Peters. She is the bomb. Yes, she is Nicole Peters. So you all, want you all definitely check back with us again on next Friday. We're excited about the next individual that'll be coming to the platform. Y'all gonna love her. Yes, you are. So you all have, hey, Karen. Thank you, sweetie, for being with us this evening. Thank you. Well, you all have a fabulous and wonderful night. Have a great weekend as well. And we'll see you again next Friday. You all have a great one. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.